Hello everyone, once again I has a box and in this box I will find Lego Stuffs because this is a Bricklink order from Bricklink that I got by going to Bricklink.com and placing an order. To get into this box I has a knife. I will be using this one today which you have seen me use before. You can see my quick thoughts on it in uh, the link in the pinned comment or in the card on the video. And for knife safety this time around I'm going to talk about cutting towards you versus cutting away from you. If there's one single piece of advice that can be given to anyone, just one, only one, regarding knife usage, uh, it has to be cut away from yourself, not towards yourself. That way, even if you don't know what you're doing, even if you make a mis even if you do know what you're doing and you make a mistake, you get caught on something and then this happens, you're not going to cut yourself. So that's very important, and uh, I will never debate that, uh, you know, if, if no, no other piece of advice can be given, if nothing else can be said about using knives and any kind of tool that has a, a blade, it's that you should cut away from yourself. However, cutting away from yourself does not automatically make you safe. I'm just going to get that piece of paper out of here. Similarly, cutting towards yourself does not automatically make you unsafe. For example, this is a knife that was specifically designed to be used to cut towards yourself. <laughs> That's what it was designed for. As a tool, it's used for carpet work, linoleum work, and other kind of stuff where you are getting in and you need to do this. That's what you're supposed to do with it. But you're also supposed to have control over it. Like I mentioned last time, it's important to maintain control over your blade so you're not holding something way back here and just kind of uh, closing your eyes and <laughs> pulling out like that. Always very important to have control. Wow, this is really colorful. It's going to take me a minute to go through to have to have control. But there are definitely cases where cutting away from you is also dangerous because, for example, if you do this and a pet is over there or a friend or family member is over there or you lose control of, of the handle because of the, the sudden release of force and it goes flying off, you can hurt someone else. If you're doing like this, obviously you can hurt yourself. There are many circumstances under which you can cause a lot of damage if you make a mistake or you don't know what you're doing and you're cutting away from yourself. Similarly, there are circumstances where cutting towards yourself is the best thing to do where you need to have fine control or if you're not able to get your arm around because you've got a camera here and you're not able to get your arm around to do stuff like this sometimes it's better just to have control if you have control but if you're not experienced just be less unsafe if you can and do cut away from yourself so it's not black and white it's not simple. Similarly, this lot here is not black and white or simple. Um, gosh, that's a lot of little things. Uh, the coolest things here are the new foliage pieces. Let's see, you've got those. That's just two different colors of the same. These are the new flowers as well. So I got a bunch of those because this store that I went to uh, had some and they're on my permanent want list these are cool these will be usable for some train related related items i think i don't remember which set had these in orange first i got some two by three tiles in four colors it looks like five colors nice useful i actually could have used these on my my crane there was a spot where i absolutely needed them as two by threes but I had to make a substitution these are cool for making little bits of detail i might actually make just a just a made-up astromech droid at some point just to use this this head uh, this is a zip line piece i think it was used in a friend set or two or three or something oh cool these are going to be useful for making i think small trees and shrubs uh, to have them in this color you know it gives you a, a just a, a one stud long rotatable plate with a bar at the end you can attach things that that can be turned up and down that, that has a lot of use 
in useful colors like this. So I got some of those. Um, I was just low on these. I think I ran out of them working on my last train. And you see some other miscellaneous little stuff in here. I think I have some hands in black as well. Got at least a couple in red here, but I got some in black. That might have been in a different order. I'm actually going to show you a different order as well. The reason, the main reason I went to this particular store and placed this order was to get these. They're so useful. They're expensive, but uh, it's nice to have that matte finish, that kind of satin finish, rather than something too shiny. And some of these are going to be used in my port area, my cargo harbor. Also, these are going to be used in my planetary defense force base because they have to be. <laughs> I can't not use them. I got uh, a stack of these when they first came out, just a small stack of them, and I love them. They're so useful. They have just so many different possibilities of how you can connect things, and I hope to figure some new techniques out with them, or at least some interesting ones. Now, yesterday, I got in an order, and I unboxed it, I actually got in a couple of orders, but I needed to get to them very quickly, so I didn't even bother filming this stuff. So I'm going to show you now that order, or at least what's left of it, what I haven't opened up and actually used already, because it had some of those gray pieces that I badly needed to continue with my terrain build. Um, these are 9 volt train sides, not the same as the RC ones or power functions ones. They don't have the little hole right there. These actually have a little bit more clearance in my experience on the back and uh, will fit more consistently on those 9 volt. Oh no! Wait, 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 wait. What? Uh, these. Why are there some of these? Did I order these as well? I'll have to go back and check that order because I thought this was supposed to be all just these. I have some of these already with the, the little cutout for axles, but they don't always fit so well with the 9 volt motors. Need to be kind of splayed out a little bit. I've got some of these old homemaker pieces. I eventually need to just buy a full set because I was interested in these as a kid, looking at them in whatever catalog I had. And uh, yeah, I should just buy a full set of them at, at some point. But they seem interesting to me. A uh, little bit of nostalgia there and a little bit of curiosity and kind of uh, inspiration to make something larger. I don't know, a large mascot or something that would be on a building, you know, advertisement, 3D sign. Some Technic half-wide lift arms. Slightly shorter ones. These are the five long. Those were sevens, I believe. Yep, sevens. These are some Zenap pieces from that weird, uh, what was it, Con Connects uh, attempt that, that Lego did. These are also Zenap pieces. And so the parts would go together like this. More like that. More like that. More like that. Kind of cool. And uh, official Lego pieces. Looking forward to finding some uses for these. Uh, only some of them had any connections that are compatible with regular Lego stuff. So these will accept studs, although they will be they will be a little bit tight. But more importantly, they will accept, and more correctly, they will accept uh, Technic pins. So you can connect this to your modern stuff. And this will accept an axle, I believe. I'm not sure if that'll be too tight or if it'll be loose, but at the very least, you can slip it over an axle and, you know, just get an interesting shape. And maybe there are some snap pieces that I could connect to that to create even other interesting shapes. Just, you know, opening up the palette a little bit, opening up the possibilities. This, I think, was really cheap. If I remember right, this was like two dollars or something and usually these are like seven dollars these old space plates and this is in fantastic condition for its age yeah I, I try to stock up on these whenever i find them cheap uh just a little little sticker piece which is also in great shape for its its age and for being a sticker some of these in gray uh these were watto's data pad from episode one star wars if i recall correctly and then 
some more strings with studs at the end. Let's see, are these all the same length? Oh, these are two different. Nope, nope, they're the same length. They're super, 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 super long ones that I didn't, oh, wait, 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 nope. They are different lengths. I don't know if they're supposed to be or they just stretched, but they are slightly different lengths. I think they are supposed to be different, if I recall correctly from my order. But whatever it is, they are quite long and should be useful for some cranes or stays of some sort. Uh, these I could have used on my, my train build as well, my last one. Also got some in, in gray. And then uh, I had run out of these building the railing around my elevated rail little track. So that's it. That's it for this lot. Got a lot of sorting to do there. I think I'm just going to dump most of this stuff into a, a big bin of unsorted stuff for now. But these will get used very soon and the rest will just kind of show up over time. Looking forward to using these too. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again soon. Tell me this isn't as dangerous as it looks. No, it's not dangerous. The children have learned how to use the knives properly. So it's not seen as some kind of weapon. It's a tool for doing something such as whittling.